Hey kids, getting back from let's play Pokemon Fire Red. Uh, last time we made it out of Mount Moon, finally, after a long and arduous journey that was. And we have this item, and it's a TM05, which contains Roar. Roar freaking causes a trainer to switch Pokemon, or causes a wild Pokemon to flee. Nothing important, there's Pokemon over the grass, but I don't need to catch anything. And now we are in Cerulean City, which is a lovely shade of blue. Kind of similar to the rooftop of the bike shop there. Uh, yeah, I am. That's me. Okay, um... A couple things of note. We have this, this schmo-looking dude. He talks about badges. And he tells you what each badge does. And obviously, you know... I'll go over them when I get them. And if you go over here, I think it's... If you search in this space... Is it, if you search that space, one of these spaces. I know it's here somewhere. Where the hell is it? Uh. Here it is. You find a rare candy. Yay! And. Um, I do want to give that to somebody, and that would be some my uh, what we call my experienced leecher at the moment. There, the good old maid, 45, 42, 41, whatever number he wants to go by, and he needs level 13. A little stat boost there, nothing too spectacular. All right, I'm gonna go into the Pokemon Center and. Does anybody need to talk to in here? Okay. Heal up. Dun, 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 dun. Woo! Alright, uh, what bell? Aw. I don't think he's that kind of mean. Oh, he cooks rare Well, that's kind of the point, isn't it? Uh, yeah. If you go upstairs in the Pokemon Center, you get into, like, the trading area for, like, linking up with other Game Boys to, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's... Let's do this while I have the inclination there. We shall deposit, uh, made for... A quick second here, not, uh... Not too long here, and we need to get uh, a fairy out. Puffy, Puff Daddy, yes. Okay, that is intimidating, really. All right, and once we do that, go in here. Not there. That was on the right option to begin with. And use the Moonstone on Puffy. Ah, and this is how you evolve Pokemon with uh, rocks. Yeah, Puffy's evolving. <laughs> now, I'm not going to use Puffy at all. This is simply to just get an extra entry in my Pokedex. Which is why I caught Puffy in the first place, because I had the rock. And basically because of the rock, which I'm not going to, I'm not gonna need I wasn't gonna need that rock for anything. So using it to get an extra Pokedex entry, which puts me up to eleven. And that's, I think, the first reward. Um, I shall... I shall deposit Puppy. And... Get back my Zubat. Alright. Magikarp will probably eventually be taken out and grinded to turn him into his evolution. So I'm not going to do all that often. Let's look around here. We have a bike shop, but bikes cost a million dollars. Oh, well. I don't know. You're gonna waste a million dollars on a bike you're ever gonna ride. No, not really. There's no actual difference in bikes in this game. Well, yeah, but... Welcome to the bike shop. I have six grand. That would normally buy me a bicycle in any other country, but no, not here. Not in Pokemon land. 
Alright, let's continue to explore. Just walk into people's houses and say, hey, how's it going? Ooh, huh? I don't, well, Team Rocket's kind of trying to take over the world of Pokemon. You don't want to care about that. Punch? <laughs> He's not sure. He's standing in front of that little green plant. It is one of the cut plants, which... Oh, okay. Yeah, so, Bell is not guaranteed. If you're in... Oh, I know that. If you're in a area where the average level of the Pokemon is stronger than your the Pokemon you have in front, then you get five super Pokemon. Then basically you're just gonna. I want nine. I want nine. Yeah, of course, be enough now. Yeah. So if, you know. Your Pokemon is stronger. Is it's, it's, their po if the Pokemon around you is stronger than you? They'll attack you. If they don't care or anything. Or yeah, I am. A little bit, yeah. There's a gym. Leader Misty, Tomboy Mermaid. You know what? I gotta check this out. Yeah. Okay. Control Water type. Gra grass or electric. Um, I don't think my quote-unquote electric Pokemon is Turnips. My electric Pokemon is Turnips. Uh, he can learn Thunderbolt. Which should be good enough to pretty much kill anything. I'm gonna take a Swimmer. Swimmer! I hate Swimmers! Because they don't, like, have any money. Wow, that's just a lot of frames to drop there. He goes like Horsey! He throw it made and went away. Alright. Bada! Go Udo! And bubble. This is gonna do like one damage if that. I'll be two because this is at a higher level. So we're just gonna vine whip. Oh god, here we go. Hackers you gotta watch miss. No, he hit good. Wow. Uh, here, not too much to worry about there. Accuracy is the only stat down effect you need to worry about. Generally, if you're using a type advantage, you'll kill anything long before a. Uh, no, you can stay up there. You'll kill anything long before like the defense down or attack down actually makes a difference. And Shelter goes down. Oh, there's more water. I think it's pure water. And it will gain 331 experience, going up to level 15. Just trying to learn poison powder? Um. Uh. You know, I don't want to learn poison powder. So, yes. Poison powder. I think you also try to learn sleep powder. I don't want to learn that either. Yes. Sorry, Udo, but I don't use sleep powder. I don't really need to catch any Pokemon to worry about putting things to sleep. Alright, so that's done. And then we have uh, this chick, who I think just has a gold move. Are you sure about that? And pick your Diana sets out one gold. But it is level 19. I probably should check what his experience was at before I uh, gave him that rare candy. The thing about uh, rare candies is all it does is put you at the next level. So if you only need like two experience points to gain a level, you basically wasted a rare candy. Because, oh no, oh, with the confusion. Oh, this shouldn't matter now. Of course it hurt itself in this confusion. Why wouldn't it? It's freaking, you know. Alright, this is where Udo slowly kills himself and he did. Thankfully that was off camera. Dude, come on, not again. It's a 50-50 chance. Why does it hurt me more than three oh. Oh, Yeah, I have confusion and violent. Go down. 
he didn't die. Thanks. Dude, are you serious? That was... I'm bull. That's what that was. Fish it off, mate. Astonish. Well, I can't really take Misty without Udo, so I'm gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center after this. Man, that was like, you serious? Dude, don't kill him. Thank you. Alright. And I defeated Technic for Diana. Yeah. Alright, I'll do the Pokemon Center, I'll be right back. Alright, we're good, acting good to go. Yeah, I know, I'm a new face. My policy about Pokemon is to get six and then beat the crap out of everybody with multiple types, so I have pretty much an answer for every problem. Including your spamming ass. Yes, Alda, I remember the spamming Starmie. Uh, you know, made not really gonna deal with uh star you there. Harden, okay, that really didn't make much of a difference, but alright. Alright, stop hardening! Metapod wannabe. It's the Metapod of the sea. Super effective! Alright, this should get rid of it. Yeah, it's not very watch it confuse me. Nope, oh thank god. Okay. Good night, Star you. There we go. Now, the way to quote unquote really level grind in this game would be to what we're doing right now. Now we face Star you, got about 200, 400 experience, you know, for a Pokemon is really good. Super effective, and that's all the freaking damage it did? Oh, you that was Udo. Of course, it used the one move it didn't have a type advantage for. Um, uh, I confused the crap out of it. Of course, waterfalls. Here we go. Dude, really? Oh, no damage. Of course, not very effective. Confusing. Uh, oh. All right, Alta. See if you can do something here. Okay, yeah, it goes back to using the non. Some kind of move does some damage. I think so. Uh, happened to me the last time, too. Last time I played the game, freaking ridiculous nonsense with the, her star me for some reason is ridiculously overpowered. Confuse it. Confuse it. No, no water pulse. It's a bat. Fly away. Dude, what the crap? Hell with you, game! I have no choice but to put out a Pokemon to beat against this. No, she's not gonna do Swift to beat That would just be absolutely too much. Nope, Waterfall. Goodbye, B dude! Fine for now let's just What the hell did that even do? Uh, well that's fun while it lasts, you know, because apparently no matter which Pokemon I throw out, he's gonna be faster and he's just gonna murder you. That's why I hate fucking Pokemon, I swear. 
Leader Lilith against Leader Misty. Fuck Leader Misty. Punch her in the face. Alright, well, I'm just gonna continue to do that until I eventually fucking win. So I'll be right back. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, no, no, I don't, get away. Yeah, suck that bitch! <laughs> I took one more try. Ugh, that was... Basically, I just used, uh, Leech Seed, and then kept, you know, him alive while the Leech Seed slowly raped his HP. What? Udara is evolving, and yes, Udo, I'm sorry, but you are going to evolve. None of this remain a Bulbasaur forever. I could stop it. My finger's hovering over the button. Uh, too late. You're an Ivysaur. Woo! Alright, that's two evolved Pokemon. And now all my Pokemon can go up to level 30. I can use Cut anytime, which I don't actually possess, so... And we get TM03, which I believe contains Water Pulse. Yeah. And we're going to immediately use that on... I think the only, I should only have one... Yeah, only one Pokemon that can use it. And he already knows four moves. Um, yeah, yeah should. Well, this is good. I forgot withdrawal. He forgot how to run away. And he learned water pulse! Yeah! Alright, that's where a lot of my good uh, moves are really gonna come from, is the TM that I get. But what awaits us, you know, now? I mean, we've got the Cascade badge, we should move on! Or should we go see this Pokemaniac guy and uh, find out what he's gonna be? See if he has any nuggets of information. So I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Until then, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, and have a good night.